Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Usman Malik, your host from the platform of Knowledge In. Today's our topic of discussion is shortcut keys of Microsoft Excel. Usually, I call these shortcut keys as magical working because it gives more professional look to your working and it is also helpful in saving your time. In today's tutorial, I, I am going to elaborate 25 different shortcut keys which will helpful in your daily routine task. I hope that you will like my today's video. I am going to elaborate that how to select a row, how to select a column, how to add a row, how to add a column, how to insert a time and date and how to add commas, how to remove decimals and how to add percentage and so many things before going to my presentation i would like to request you to please subscribe my channel and also share this this, uh, this video to with your friends uh, my youtube channel is kin786 and you can also watch my videos on www.kin786.com let's move directly to our topic First of all, we will see how to a row uh, of uh, D9. Let's select a row and how to select a row. Just we have to press shift and space bar. It will select the whole row. Let's move to our next shortcut key. That is to select a column. It is very easy to select a column by pressing only two keys. And those keys are control and space bar. By this way, you can select the whole column and moving forward. If you want to select the complete sheet, there are many different shortcut keys. But as we are discuss uh, discussing shift plus space bar and control plus space bar. So at any uh, place, at any cell of your sheet, you can press control shift space bar and the whole sheet will be selected. Let's move. Let's move to adding a row if you want to add a row at uh, d9 how you can add that row it is very simple you have to simply press alt i r it will add a row above uh, your selected cell and if you want to add a column then if you want to add a column at uh, column d you, you simply have to press alt i c c is for column r is for row let's move uh, to next uh, thing that is removing duplicate using shortcut key first of all you have to select your data then you simply have to press alt a m it will ask you to uh, which cell you want to select and it has eliminate the duplicate uh, row from our data let's directly jump to the uh, next shortcut key that is to add filter where we want to apply the filter you have to simply select that row and then you press you, then you have to press alt a t it will add the uh, filter where you can see different results let's move to the uh, uh, how to format uh, width of a column uh, here you can see that if we have a uh, very narrow width you have to select those, uh, those cells where you want to apply uh, the auto uh, cell width uh, shortcut key uh, and the shortcut key is alt h o i it will simply adjust your cell according to the uh, data uh, present in those cells if, if you want to add a comma to your uh, selected cells then you have to press alt h k it will add commas and it is having uh, an other shortcut key that is control shift one which is also used to add commas to your data let's jump to our uh, next that is currency and if we want to add currency to our uh, selected cells we simply have to press control shift four it will add the currency sign uh, which is uh, by default dollar sign and th this is going to allot all those cells which have been selected earlier and if we have to remove the uh, decimal uh, uh, the point after decimal 
we simply have to press alt h9 alt h9 it will reduce our the point, uh, the number after decimals let's move how to add up uh, percentage uh, to us uh, selected cells uh, it's very simple control shift 5 it will add the percentage and if we want to enhance the uh, number after digits uh, then we, we can simply uh, the uh, shortcut e alt h 0 we can use that it will uh, increase the uh, points after decimal jump on to the next r uh, auto sum formula and auto sum if we want to see the auto sum it's very simple what we have to do is we have to simply press alt equal it will give the sum formula automatically and you can see the result that it, it can apply uh, the formula uh, very simple that that is alt equal let's move how to enter date and time and which you simply have to press control semicolon for date and control shift semicolon for current time so uh, this is the current date and time let's uh, jump to next uh, shortcut key that is font uh, and if we want to apply some font then we have to simply press control one it will open the menu bar for format cell let's move how to hide a, a row or how to hide a column uh, simply control 9 will hide the row and control 0 will hide the column and if we want to add new sheet we simply have to press shift f11 this is going to open a new sheet and if we want to rename a sheet uh, it's shortcut key alt h o r alt h o r here we can rename the sheet then if we want to hide or unhide the tabs control uh, f1 can hide the row uh, can hide the tab and control uh, f1 can unhide the tab let's move to the next uh, that is how to apply border and if we want to apply all the uh, border lines simply alt h b a this can give a complete a line to the uh, table and if we want to apply a thick border select your server uh, what you want to apply alt h b t will give a thick border to your selected rows if you want to clear the format you simply have to press alt h e f this is going to uh, clear the format not the text and if you want to clear text and uh, format as well then you have to press alt h e a this is going to remove all your data we have uh, moved to the uh, how to remove comma from our selected uh, cells uh, let's select these cells and if we have to remove these commas uh, and we have to move uh, these values to the general value simply press ctrl shift and uh, uh, hyphen button it will uh, remove the comma from our selected cells and let's move to the uh, our next how we can see the formulas simply we have to press ctrl f1 it will uh, show all the formula in the uh, in those cell which uh, have been appeared on your screen uh, you can see all the formula and if you want to go back you simply have to press ctrl hyphen again this is going to return back to your original format here you can see thank you so much for listening i hope that you will like my video and uh, we will meet uh, very soon with a new video uh, please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching